Well, hello and welcome into the community of Studio B. My name is Jyothi Bainey and welcome to this quick stretch break where today we're going to remember that the body is inherently good. And we're gonna explore that through movement, through breath, and through a little bit of centering. And we're actually going to begin by standing up today. So wherever you are, go ahead and rise to your feet. If there's anything in your surroundings, like a chair or a desk, the chair in particular, you might wanna stand or slide out of the way. <clears throat> and then bring the feet underneath you about hip distance apart or maybe a little bit wider, just to really take up your space, feeling grounded and connected. And we're gonna start with some standing spinal movement, but with the arms out wide. So stretching the arms like a broad wingspan. So you could think of like an albatross, a big bird, taking up all of its space. As you inhale, let the arms float back, the heart lift to the gaze lift. As you exhale, soften the knees, bring the arms forward, round the spine, drop the chin to the chest. Inhale, arms open wide, wingspan broadens. Exhale, arm closes, chin to chest. And just continue to flow back and forth like this. Thinking of this like a standing massage for the spine. And as you get more comfortable with this movement, you can allow it to become more fluid. You can allow the elbows to sort of soften, almost like you're a bird flapping its wings. Kind of trusting the intuition of the body, that the body knows how it needs to move. And so not fighting that intuition. Take one more of these. Exhale. And then stand up tall. Let the arms come alongside the body and just take a breath or two, kind of notice how the body's feeling. And then we're gonna shift our awareness to the sides of the body, which if you spend a lot of time seated can get really congested. So let's start really micro here, small micro movements waving from side to side opening up and you can really think of the way that you know kelp moves underneath the water there's this really fluid quality and introduce that fluid that fluidity into your own spine and body hmm it feels really good i hope it feels good to you and then we're going to invite just a little bit of a static hold here so the next time you come up to center, pause for a moment, take your right hand behind your head, let the right elbow open out wide, and then once again, lean to your left, letting that right elbow drift up towards the ceiling, and we'll take a couple breaths here. Now you could stay with the hand behind the head. This is a perfectly good place to be. If you wanted a little bit more, you could reach that right arm over to the left, seeing if you could amplify that sensation without any pain. One more full breath here. And then bring the hand back behind the head and slowly drift up to center and give yourself a moment just to be in the middle, to just observe. For me, I'm feeling some tingling run down the side of the body, down the right arm. And then let's go to the second side, left hand behind the head. Open up that inner elbow. <clears throat> Keep it nice and wide as you start to lean to your right. And just maybe thinking about how do you typically think about the body? Do you think of it as able, as good, as inherently capable, as worthy of kindness? Maybe stretch the left arm over to the right, amplifying this sensation a little bit. And even if we show up with injury, pain, any sort of disability, the body is still good. In all of those situations, the body is good. Left hand behind the head, float back up to center, pause for a moment, and we'll do a standing back bend. So breathing both of the palms forward as if you were kind of telling someone, stop, <laughs> tuck the elbows in towards the sides of the ribs. And then imagine pushing the palms forward, rotate the heart up. I'm actually going to turn sideways so that you can see this. So I push the palms forward. I lift the heart forward. I lift the chin slightly up towards that seam where the wall and the ceiling meet. And then I let the shoulders melt back and down. And then I find the breath here. 
Feeling my legs anchored into the floor. One more breath. Being kind to my body. And then slowly coming out of that, releasing the arms down. If you move the chair out of the way, let's bring it back into play because we're going to come seated. So sitting near the front of your chair, and we're going to come into what we call turtle pose. <clears throat> so feet, again, about hip distance apart, flat on the floor. And then we're going to cross the elbows and bring them forward to rest on the knees. And then I'm elongating my spine here. I'm supporting the weight of my head by lengthening the sides of my neck. And then I'm letting my awareness drift to the belly and noticing the breath. And this is a really simple way to decompress the spine, especially when we sit hour upon hour. Just sending a little bit of nurturing care to the spine. And then you could stay here, or if you'd like to come into a little bit more of an inversion, you could start to walk the hands down the shins, perhaps to the floor, Round the spine, letting the head hang. Allowing yourself to experience gratitude for the body. Exactly as it is. And then walking the hands back up the shins, coming back to that turtle position, crossing the forearms. We're going to take a twist here. Left forearm stays across the thighs. Right hand comes to the right side of the waist. Start to gently twist around to your right. And you could either hold on to the back of the chair, gently propelling the spine around, or if it feels available, lengthen the right arm up towards the ceiling, twisting here. Part of being in relationship with the body is being in relationship with change and transitions because the body is always changing. And so as we cultivate a relationship with the body, we become more graceful with managing change all around us. Start to bring the right arm back down if you elevated it and take this twist out of the spine and rest for a couple of moments in this turtle shape. And then we'll twist the other direction, right forearm down, left hand at the left hip crease, twisting around to your left. You could hold on to the back of the chair here or reach the left arm up. And so as we become more kind, more compassionate, more empathetic to the changes within our own body, that translates to our ability to be more empathic and compassionate and kind towards the changes that happen all around us. Lower the left hand. Coming out of that twist, take a breath and turtle. And then walking the hands up the thighs, sliding back in your chair as we prepare to close this practice, resting the hand either on the lower belly or on the lap. Eyes could be open or closed, whatever feels more resourceful to you. As you rest your hands either on the belly or the lap, seeing if you can tap into the sensation of the body breathing. Recognizing that the breath itself is an example of change, transitions, and impermanence. We watch the breath come in, we watch the breath go out. Knowing that the abilities of the body will come and go. Injury and illness will come and go. But the nature of the body is impermanence itself, and yet the body is inherently good. And then using the next breath to welcome you back to the external environment, 
preparing to transition once again into whatever the remainder of your day holds. Thank you for taking this very quick stretch break with me. It was a joy to be with you, and I look forward to practicing again very soon. Be blessed.